guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are tackling City's Playroom yet again. I know I've done a declutter and organization on my channel um, a couple of times in the past, but that is because as children grow, they also outgrow toys and move on to other toys and over birthdays and Christmases and all that, they obviously gain more things. Um, so we are decluttering and getting rid of all of the toys that she no longer plays with. I'm gonna go ahead and insert all of the footage from yesterday of me like cleaning and just gutting things out, sharing with you how I kind of go about doing that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and be back here and share with you all of um, my five-year-old's favorites and everything she plays with on a daily basis, independently, what's worth it, um, and what's maybe lasted over the years. So I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll jump right in. All right, full disclosure, I did not plan on decluttering Sydney's playroom probably until Christmas time when she gathered new things. I just typically do it around the holiday season, but her, these Ikea shelf unit that I had in her closet came crashing down the other night and everything just fell and went everywhere and it's just been a disaster for a week because I kind of like ignored it. I shut the door and said, I'll deal with it later. So so the, the mess was not from my child playing. The mess was because shelving units fell for the second time. And again, I know it's my fault. I had way too many things, way, way too much weight on them. Um, so I, I possibly will repurchase, but for now you will see what I ended up doing. So the way that I clean, I have to empty bins and dump things and make way more of a mess. I know I've mentioned that on all of my decluttering videos. I have to just dump dump and start with empty bins and then go through the piles that I have. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm going through all of the bins in Sydney's, um, these cube units from Target and kind of seeing what we have and random toys. This ice cream cart Sydney has loved for years, but honestly, she doesn't use it anymore. So I was just gathering pieces up and putting them where they belong. Sydney does really well cleaning up after herself these days, um, but she might not necessarily be the most, I mean, she's not following my organization of what goes in what bin um, at this moment, and that's okay. And so there are random pieces of toys in different bins that belong in different places. So as you can see, I have bags full of these plastic toys that have not necessarily grown with her, like toy, you know, airplanes and castles and things like that. Um, so these are all going to go in storage. We might have a yard sale soon, and then we might also rotate toys. Sydney loves going into storage and picking out our baby toys and playing with them randomly for a day or two, but I also make her swap out another toy. So if we're going to get something out of storage, I make her put something into storage so that we don't just create more clutter and undo all of my hard work um, and so that is what we were doing and she was actually helping me do this if you guys I'm sure if you've tried to declutter get rid of toys and stuffed animals in front of your child I'm sure you know how difficult that is because this toy that they haven't played with for the last two years all of a sudden it's a treasure and how dare you attempt to throw that away or sell it or get rid of it uh, it's just how it goes It's not as, my daughter is 
home with me all summer long. Um, it's not as aesthetically pleasing, like hidden as I would like, but it's easily accessible for my daughter. She is now five years old, so she can be trusted with some things that she maybe couldn't be trusted with that were so messy when she was younger. Um, and so it's easy access and things that she uses on a daily. So I'm going to go ahead and go through um, where I put things and what she plays with constantly. Okay, so starting with these bins, I have four of the bins on top of these um, cube square units that I've used for years from Target. Love them so much for storage, and I've now repurposed them. Instead of having like all of the plastic toys, I am changing them out, so I'm going to go ahead and share with you what is in them. So she definitely is more of an arts and crafts girl at this stage and wants to color, paint, draw, play with stickers, and create things with glue and googly eyes and whatnot. So this first bin here is all of her stickers. This is, it's gonna look so random. Oh, these are tattoos. <laughs> but I have just all kinds of stickers that we've collected over time and so that she can easily access them. And then big sheets of stickers and then I have paper underneath so she can play with um, her plain paper, construction paper, drawing pad, and whatnot. And I thought that, that would all fit nicely there with stickers, uh, post-it notes, random. Um, and then this bin here has all of her markers, crayons, pencils, and all of that jazz. And so we recently went through and tested, well, there's like a random colored pencil. We recently went through and tested all of her markers to see what actually works and doesn't and so these all work great and I have them just in a giant Ziploc bag so she can um, you know have access to them and then put them away herself as well we have backup crayons lots of backup crayons uh, going on in there this little kit was sent to me by a lovely subscriber if you were the one who sent it thank you so much Sydney is obsessed with it so it has lots of different styles of markers and pens and colored things in there and it's just like this cute little sparkly unicorn case that Sydney adores and then of course we have dot markers Sydney has loved these for years we just have two different colored versions of them and she still enjoys those I highly recommend getting dot markers at a young age she's had them since I think she was two we have regular pencils these window markers Sydney enjoys coloring on the windows and they just wash right off and then a big uh, container of crayons I did get this container at the Dollar Tree way back way back when and then this bin it looks so messy and gross but that's okay uh, this is all of her paints so we have finger paints in there and then these regular like washable paints from Crayola and then these little random ones that she had a couple of packs of this looks really messy but uh, this is what sometimes I will put her paints in for her to go ahead and paint. We have some paint brushes in here, the sponge ones, and then I do have a couple more, but they are being washed at the moment for that. This bag probably <laughs> needs to be changed. Mm, they're not as messy, I just need to wipe them. Um, this is not doing these justice, but these are amazing. These are like paint sticks. Um, I just need to give them a wipe off. I don't know how they got so gross, but. They are wonderful. I highly recommend. Do not judge them based on what you see here. They are really amazing and I highly recommend them. Uh, we have watercolor paints in here and then the sensory foam paints that she got a couple of years ago. So she still plays with all of these and arts and crafts are everything. She does have rules and she knows that she'll have to ask me if she wants to go ahead and paint and whatnot. She won't like grab these and just, you know, go by herself or anything. And then this is more of the arts and crafts bin. So I have some paper plates for arts and crafts. We have all of her glues and glue sticks, tacky glue and glitter glue. Um, we have some stencils, kids safe crayons, some stamps that a neighbor gave us. We have beads for arts and crafts, um, rainbow scratch paper down there. And then over here we have stamps. So I just put them all in baggies. I know there's a lot of plastic in here, but that's just how I keep them for now. So we have stamps that already have ink. You don't need a separate pad for them, and those are wonderful. We have pipe cleaners, lots of googly eyes, popsicle sticks, 
and pom-poms and then random like tissue paper kind of um, shapes cut out we have wiki sticks and so that's just kind of what this bin is all about like random arts and crafts things for her to use her imagination and and create things with and moving on to what is in some of these bins sorry the lighting is so bad it is extremely dark and I'm trying to work with my lights and shadows and whatnot um, in this bin here we have all of Sydney's coloring books and workbooks like preschool workbooks and whatnot she has so many that i didn't realize i swear our neighbors spoil her and half the time they'll be the ones who give them to her but she just loves coloring whether it be on plain paper or already done up sheets and then on the very bottom we have like preschool and kindergarten workbooks for her and so i just have those all collected in a bin and then in this one she is very into puzzles right now so in this bin we have a lot of her puzzles um she does have a i think a couple of more that are big that don't fit in here but these are just like 24 piece puzzles we have let's see the shapes wooden puzzles she still does enjoy you just make shapes or there's like little shapes here i'll go ahead and show you so it's these little wooden pieces that come in different shapes this one here are the cards that you can uh, copy or you can just use your imagination and make your own design and that's what sydney usually enjoys so she still plays with those she got them for christmas a couple of years ago so i have her alphabet puzzle here and then a number puzzle underneath she, i mean she doesn't do the number one quite as much yeah <laughs> some um the anatomy puzzle some magnetic like dress up kind of type things that she still plays with once in a while and then underneath the letter puzzles she has like a giant floor unicorn puzzle under there too that she loves um and that is underneath there so keeping puzzles because she does still play with them and that is an a in my book because they are so great for learning okay so down in this bin are some random kind of game like things and cards so we have the basically like the i spy card games uh go fish sydney really enjoys don't mind my nails in this video i can't take the dip powder is proving to be very difficult to take off so it is what it is um sydney enjoys playing um go fish we have like phonics phonics flashcards, her Bob books that she's learning how to read on that will be really convenient to have, of course, as she's going into kindergarten as well. We've been practicing here and there with those. Um, we have her Light Bright, some more like I Spy games, and I just put in randomly, um, she still plays with this actually. She's really into the arts and crafts, like I've said, and this is a create your own necklace. Minnie Mouse uh, Disney kind of kit so she still enjoys that um, and then we also have the building your own flower garden in there and she plays with that weekly and then over in here I have another blocks kit uh, she does enjoy playing with blocks and she got this for Christmas so this one is more of like the colored blocks that you can create castles and whatnot with I love wooden blocks because they're such an open-ended toy and she definitely plays with them still and has for years so that is something that grows with them and is so good for their imagination and play in here I also have her little magnetiles so i just have them in uh, this bag she has a couple of different kits and i've just combined them into here and she does play with these constantly um, and so blocks magnetiles great toys that can grow with your children so in this bin are more of her drawing pads um, she still plays with this one this one's really cute it has like this um, magnetic kind of pen i know you guys have seen these but this one has the different colors on the board and it comes with these little magnets on the back here it's supposed to be like spaceship themed um so she plays with that still we have another drawing pad she got for christmas or her birthday i can't remember and she just loves this one this one is really smooth again like that rainbow kind of color and you can just erase it really quick so guys, oh she really wants to play with this actually guys i i i can make something okay see 
I love it. <laughs> this uh, is more of a babyish toy, but it does have phonics, and sometimes she'll break this out to play with. We have been going into storage and getting some baby toys, so some it is what it is. And then in here we have some figurines. So she does enjoy playing with like dinosaurs and unicorns and figures. So this is a set she got for Christmas. It is a set of unicorns, and of course unicorns are still everything right here or right now in our home and then she has her set of dinosaurs that she'll still randomly play with um this is a kit that comes with this bin and these giant like trees and boulders and whatnot um so she still plays with those here and there and then other dinosaurs and then this bin is a little bit more miscellaneous and it doesn't look so organized but these are things that she kind of plays with still kind of um once in a while and so i have them in here so just a telephone she likes to play pretend and then sometimes she'll still play with the poppets like fidget toys she loves to dance and sing and play so i'm keeping this one here uh, we do have our walkie talkies that she enjoys this is a toy that's kind of grown with her but she doesn't play with a ton again it does phonics things and so just to keep her memory fresh i'll keep it down here for just a little bit longer and then we have our leapfrog little what is this called like leap start books um, and things and she really enjoys this toy we have a magnifying glass she'll sometimes pretend she's like a detective on a mission and then she'll pretend this is her uh, like iPad <laughs> her little blues blues iPad so these are kind of uh, random toys that she does play with but don't really have like a, a spot so despite her having this giant dollhouse, she's really not a doll person, never has been, but she does play with figures um, once in a while. She'll enjoy playing in here with dinosaurs and figures, but not dolls. I have kept her newest ones here just because they are newer and um, I didn't want to put them in storage quite yet, but I got rid of quite a bit. She had a ton of dolls and baby dolls um, that I went ahead and put up in storage. So I kept an Elsa doll and a Mirabelle. She just got Mirabelle for her birthday and I just love her. We have Woody, we have... Um, my Little Ponies, she loves My Little Ponies, and she has these horses, like plastic horses too. So um, she does play with those, and those will all be in a bin. And then this one over here, I think I forgot to show you, is a little bit more random. So this is the a um, Yeti for Getty game. It's like a hide and seek game. It's more for a little bit younger, I think, but she enjoys it. And then she has her talking microscope that she's just getting into now. And she got that for Christmas. This, I don't know, these are a little bit more random. She doesn't really play with these much. Um, this one's supposed to cast a rainbow, but it doesn't have batteries. And then these smart Party pants were her preschool like quiz cards she likes to feel really smart and do those once in a while okay moving on to her dress up station she still enjoys playing dress up quite a bit currently in her Elsa dress <laughs> so we just have her dress up stuff here backpacks and purses down in the bottom this unit is I believe it's guide craft or kid craft i can't remember um oh, the mirrors are dirty and i haven't washed them <laughs> but this is not so organized these are like lots of headbands and just dress up things we have like crowns and bracelets and masks makeup and pretend makeup and all of that lives in here so she still enjoys some dress up here and there and then my daughter loves her stuffed animals, so we still have huge bins full of stuffed animals, uh, but she loves them, so I don't deny them. And then we have this big bouncy ball that she enjoys once in a while, not a ton, but once in a while. And then one of her favorite toys at the moment is this karaoke machine. She plays with this all the time, if not daily, definitely every other day. And she loves to sing and dance and play with that. Um, and then over here, I do have a couple more. I kept this random shelf that didn't fall. I kept this up for the moment, so we'll get back to it when I get more shelves. Um, these also have some games in here. So we have one of you guys sent her this little perfection game that she plays with and enjoys. She has this hungry caterpillar 
game and she loves it. I think it's her favorite game, she says. Um, and this is cute. You just end up building butterflies and it's easy to play. And then over, and then the last thing in this bin was her stamp set. So she does enjoy it. It's kind of a pain in the butt as far as keeping organized. But she does love playing with stamps and it comes with this pad of paper as well. It's really good for them learning how to spell and recognize letters and matching letters and whatnot. So I have kept this even though it's a giant thing that kind of drives me nuts. But it is her like a uh, piano pad that makes music and she loves it. She's had it for a couple of years now and still enjoys playing with this once in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this somewhere in the playroom and um, that will be, it's nice cause she can get her energy out with it as well. All right, so moving on to her um, bins up here. I just love these bins. They're from Target and they house a lot of her games. This bin, I'm not gonna open and show you because it's pretty self-explanatory. This bin has all of her Play-Doh, kinetic sand, um, and kits. So as you can see, Play-Doh. Play-Doh, kinetic sand, moldable foam, and all of things like that. She loves, loves those things. And then we have a bunch of games. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bins down and share with you her favorite games at the moment. All right, so in this bin, we have my favorite game to play, and it is Zingo. It's, they have diff many different versions of this, and, um, and Sydney this, and I play this constantly. I'm okay, go ahead, Sydney. So, so this is Candyland, and I'll show you how to play it, but we're not gonna real play. And now you put it to, now you add this turn, now you do one, two oranges, and then it's mommy's turn, and it's my turn, and then whoever goes to the finish run wins. That's Thank you for demonstrating. So of course we do play Candyland constantly. It was my favorite game growing up and I love that Sydney plays it now. And yes, it's weird because it's a spinner. If you know, you know. Um, and we do have these alphabet learning blocks. Uh, these are nice and challenging for little ones. They help them with the hand-eye coordination, with learning. Um, it's, you're supposed to be matching. The keys have lowercase numbers or letters, sorry. And then the... Um, locks have the uppercase letter and you're supposed to unlock them and match them up. So these are still really recommended for, as far as I know, from uh, like school teachers, kindergarten, preschool teachers, and Sydney enjoys those. All right, moving on to another bin full of games. The first one is Surprise Slides and it is a frozen game that she loves. Uh, this one is a newer one that she absolutely loves. I think it's definitely a good one for younger kids, maybe like three, four year olds. Uh, clearly my newly five year old loves it. It's basically charades. So you pick whatever card that you're assigned and then it shows you the it shows you a picture and you're supposed to act it out and the person is supposed to guess it so she really enjoys that one and then trouble was one of my favorites growing up and she got this recently and just uh we actually just played it the other night we play it uh fairly often if i can get her to move on from another favorite game and she enjoyed that a lot we also have these matching letter puzzles and this one's more of a like a learning thing and I love that for her. She still plays with it. She's had it for a couple of years at this point. And then this one is just a matching memory game and she will play with this by herself and anything that I can get her to play with by herself, you know, say I'm working or just doing housework and being a human, um, she enjoys playing like matching memory games and of course Frozen. She loves Frozen. All right, moving on to the last bin. This one has some younger games, but she still and does play with them so once in a guys, while. This is the ducky game, and I can show you how to play it. Um, she really enjoys this big gem diamond painting kit. She's very into arts and crafts, like I've said a million times. Yeah, yeah you combine them. And um, so she got this for Christmas and enjoys that, or maybe her birthday, I can't remember. Um, and then she has another matching memory game that she likes that apparently I need to, the box is kind of well loved and used. And then this little fishing game is more of like a baby. One of her first games that she ever got was the fishing game and so the ducky game. Ask, this is how it's put. So you put all the duckies on here and then you press the button and they go around. You want, and then I... And 
So I did end up keeping her trampoline in here just for pure exercise. It doesn't get used quite as much as it used to, but it's good exercise again. It's just that, I don't know, my mom got it for her one Christmas a couple of years ago and it has like that frog covering that's a little childish, but it does cover the springs, which is nice. And then of course she does use and love her easel all the time. I didn't end up organizing under here, but she uses and loves her easel all the time. And then her books, we change out books constantly. She recently went in storage and grabbed all kinds of baby books and swapped them out. So these aren't necessarily ones that she reads all the time, but she does enjoy looking at books. And then moving on to her kitchen and play food, she doesn't really play with this anymore. Um, I mean, I will say like randomly she does, but not a whole lot. So this is gonna be another task for another day, but I have all of her pretend food in here in bins. And then these blocks are some of her favorites and highly recommend these. These are the Melissa and Doug blocks and they are just giant, heavy, nice quality, like amazing quality blocks. So I definitely recommend them and this is something that's gonna grow with your child. And it's an open-ended play, which is really good for development and for lasting for years to come. So they are a little bit pricey. You can find them on a Black Friday deal. That's where, when I got them personally, like three years ago and um she still plays with them she was just playing with them today actually okay so that is gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys got some inspiration i hope checking out all of the things that my child plays with independently was truly helpful for you uh, moving on to like christmas i'm thinking maybe you know arts and crafts kits the things that you can build like necklaces and bracelets and and like window thing you know just things that she can be artsy with um and then possibly legos maybe i don't have i have some ideas up my sleeve so go ahead and subscribe if you guys are new because i will definitely be sharing with you lots more uh gift ideas for five-year-olds in the future so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you in the next one bye